Prince Harry's bio on the royal family's website has been updated to remove his former title. On Tuesday, Express reported that the royal family has taken His Royal Highness off the Duke of Sussex's profile page, after the outlet claims he was still being referred to by that title on the site as of Friday. When the 38-year-old and his wife Meghan Markle chose to step back from their roles as senior working members of the royal family in 2020, Buckingham Palace announced that they would no longer be using their HRH titles. The pair are still formally known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and Express says that officials released a statement explaining why the removal happened more than three years later. The royal family website contains over 5,000 pages of information about the life and work of the royal family. Following the death of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, content has been revised and updated periodically. Some content may be out of date until this process is complete, Buckingham Palace allegedly said. Access Hollywood has reached out to the royal family for comment. Following their decision to move to California, the couple reportedly have growing tension with Harry's family. Earlier this year, he released his bombshell memoir, Spare, and after the book hit shelves, DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston gave Access Hollywood her take on how it could impact the potential reconciliation between the Sussexes and the Royals. Hugely mixed emotions. I think anyone who has seen their name dragged through the mud by a family member in such a public forum couldn't help but feel huge amounts of hurt. Uh, betrayal, but also anger, mm -hmm. especially because of all people, Harry is very much aware that senior members of the royal family are bound by certain rules that prevent them from acknowledging attacks like this. Only on very, very rare occasions will the palace comment on allegations, accusations, rumors, and so on. And even when they do comment, it is a very short one-line response. When William, for example, said, we are very much not a racist family. When Buckingham Palace issued a statement about the Oprah interview saying that recollections may vary. At no point has anyone inside the palace walls been given the opportunity to defend themselves, and Harry knows this. In one of his TV interviews to, to publicize the book, he parrots the fact that the royal family's motto is never complain, never explain. So he knows that their hands are tied and that there is very little that they can do to defend themselves. So he is effectively shouting attacks at his brother, at Kate, at Charles, at Camilla, all of whom have metaphorical tape over their mouths. And that is the written version of kicking someone when they are down. Right, yeah, like they literally can't can't defend themselves. Uh, what's the interview you just referenced, just so we know the one? Uh, the 60 Minutes interview with Anderson Cooper, which they've aired a, an advanced clip of. Okay, sounds good. And then last thing, because I know you have to go. Um, after all of these bombshell claims, do you think that Meghan and Harry have just totally ruined their relationship with the royal family? Is there any way they could ever come back from all of this? You know, I think the relationship between the Sussexes and the royal family was destroyed long before the book was released. I think that Meghan and Harry had reached a point of no return months ago. I think the book is just yet more evidence of why they can never be welcomed back into the royal family. What has been proven by the Sussexes time and time again is that there is no end point. We had the Oprah interview, which was, if you are going to look at it very kindly, their opportunity to tell their story. However, if you're going to look at it with a very cynical eye, when they received what is estimated to be a hundred million dollar Netflix deal, they were happy to once again share their side of the story because they were making money. Same with Harry's book. He received a very handsome publishing deal, millions upon millions of dollars, that paid for all of the information that you are going to read in its pages. As we understand it, Megan is going to follow suit and publish her own book, which will no doubt 
rehash many of the accusations and allegations that we've already heard, and who knows, it may well include further bombshells. So while the royal family may have been willing to give Harry and Meghan a certain amount of grace after the Oprah interview, at this point, how do you even begin to try and repair the relationship? Because as we've said, they can never trust that private conversations that they have with Harry and Meghan won't make it into the pages of a book, won't make it onto the screens of a Netflix documentary. The trust has been irrevocably broken, and I don't think that that is something that can ever be repaired.